Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. Today's productivity tip is how to choose file storage when you're on a go. As doctors, we're mostly on a go. Sometimes we see patients in our office, but often we actually change even those offices. Very few of us are located in the same office all the time. But even then, I believe that we often need to have some sort of storage file on a cloud as this makes our jobs much more productive. Often I get asked about, do you remember that article or do you have that article on your hand? Or sometimes on award runs we talk about the research and then we try and uh, share it among ourselves, especially those uh, research articles that are very important. So it's often a good idea to have these uh, readily available. Previously, it used to be that we had to remember this task when we got home or when we got to the office and found the article or the journal magazine. Often you had to put it into your task manager as well because we get distracted by so many different things when we're on a go that we often forget these little things. Or we have to ask the person, can you please email me so I can check it out. Often we get to our office and get to the pile of the books and it was like, where the hell is that journal article? I can't find it. Or there is a pile or stack of papers on our desk that we have to trawl to. Depends how organized we are. But these days I believe we can be almost paperless. And this is why I would recommend a data storage on a cloud. So how can you choose the best data storage application for you? Number one, it has to give you enough data storage that you can one, have enough and increase as necessary. Depending what you're storing there, you may need, you may need only 50 gigabytes or you may need more than that, or you may need two terabytes of more. Choose the application that gives you enough storage and also that it's able to be expanded if you need to. Number two is that this application has to be easy to use on all platforms that you're using, whether that's Android, Windows, Mac, iOS, it has to be accessible for you on all these platforms. Otherwise, it's not possible. We often use it from a computer, from a phone on a go. So unless you have something that you can access from both, it's not really that user friendly for you. Number three is that it has a reliable upload. So you know that information will always be there. I used to lately store it on the iCloud where it sank my desktop, but that storage wasn't reliable because I thought it was uploaded onto a cloud. But when I would come to the office the next day, it wasn't there. And that's the problem. If you cannot rely that the data will be there, then there is no point of using it. So the files have to be searchable and also stored in a way that it's easy to search. You can use tags for that or different titles or different folders. Either way, it has to be easy to be found. Number five is that it's shareable. We often share the information whether it's a single file or a folders. So you have to have that option. I'm not sure whether you need a folder sharing, but I do. I often share my folders with my accountant or with my family. The other thing which is similar to sharing is, do you need collaboration? If you need a collaboration, can you do it at the same time or do you often do it at the same time or not at the same time? And how is that going to be stored? This was my productivity tip for this week on how to find cloud storage that suits you. Thank you for watching this video today. And if you like them, please subscribe to the button below. Bye for now.